Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler with a private signings autograph recap. You know, it, this is the way to do it at the moment because in-person autograph signings really aren't happening. And there were two people whom I had stuff for that I really want to get stuff signed. So I went for it. And this was back in September 2020. They were having private signings with their respective host or whatever you want to call the individual. I will give them a shout out here. I learned both of these through a Facebook group called Baseball Private Signings. So the Manny Sanguian, which I'll show you, was put on by this individual, Guy Puglia. Guy Puglia. So I would say there's no real concerns here with that individual. If uh, you see a private signing and it's through that into person. I had a very good experience with Manny Sanguian, who was a two-time World Series winner with the Pirates. And he also had a few All-Stars. And he has some other cool things going for him, like his pulled pork nachos. Oh, my goodness, they're so good. But I sent him three cards. Well, two cards, a stamp, and a program. So here, and they're kind of oddball items. I know, you know, there's a possibility. Maybe the Pirates will play at PNC Park again. But I'm not going to rely on that. You know, that he'd be, that it will happen a whole lot with fans and uh, him being at his grill. So anyway, I've got three cards, kind of oddball cards, oddball items signed. And they came out really nice in blue Sharpie, just like I asked. Those are the two cards. And this is a stamp. I believe it's from 1972. My buddy Papa's cards has seen this. He's very knowledgeable of it, so feel free to remind me again. Papa's cards, uh, this particular item, I believe it's from 1972. So this would have been after the Pirates won there. His first, Manny Sanguian's first World Series run with the Pirates. And the fourth item that I got signed by him was this 1975 scorecard that I picked up at Trader Jack's Flea Market for about $10. And it doesn't pop, but it looks good. I asked for silver Sharpie or silver paint pen. Looks like he went with silver Sharpie. and Or maybe that was silver paint pen, but in any case, it does look really nice. So I'm glad to have this. That pose is great. And when I bought this program, I thought, I don't know if I'll ever get him to sign it. So when I saw this private signing happening, this, this program is the reason why I sent all these items to Manny Sanguian. He was 20 bucks for an item, except trading cards were cheaper. So to me, that turned out great. It was well worth it. So thank you, Guy Puglia, for putting that on. Much, much appreciated. So there's three cards and a program that have been signed. Now this next one, these are... These are my favorite. I really enjoy collecting MLB authenticated game balls, especially ones associated with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Well, Neil Walker was having a signing, uh, and it was only 20 bucks an item. Or maybe premium items were more, but um, in any case, the person putting this on, the name is Bill Mason, so if you ever come across that name, do not you know, really hesitate. They were handled extremely well as I did have certain instructions for them. And, you know, I mean, for both of these folks who are putting on these signings, you had specific instructions, such as putting your name on every item and, you know, indicating what color to use. So, you know, you have to take your time to be meticulous. And, you know, the handler, the promoter, was handling these extremely well. So I have three game-used baseballs that were already signed by another pirate but I was hoping to get them signed by Neil Walker at some point. And if it didn't, that's okay. But the one I was really hoping to get Neil Walker on because the other autograph was not on the sweet spot. And that's what I'm going to show you first. This one's from the 2015 season, June 12, 2015. Oh, and I just remembered something. Let me go back to that Manny Sanguian program. Something that was also really cool, you know, it makes you really interesting to see, you know, curious to see, was this thing ever scored by the person who had this program at some point? And the answer is yes. And if you take a look at that, that lineup, second one down, Manny, look what he did in the fourth inning, home run, followed by scoops. That would be Al Oliver hitting a home run. They had back-to-back -back home runs. And apparently the person who did this, the name was Dennis, who was scoring it, and there's the attendance, 43,260. That's so stinking cool. <laughs> Love how he uh, put like a little hexagon around the three cents. Must have been trying to 
maybe got a little bored, zoned out a little bit. But anyway, so yes, Manny even had a home run during this game. So that, that's really cool. Anyway, back to Neil Walker. So this ball is from June 12, 2016. It was already signed by Josh Harrison, and it's MLB authenticated as a Neil Walker and Josh Harrison back-to-back -back singles off of former Pirate pitcher who was pitching for the Phillies, Kevin Correa. And the, authentic the uh, hologram also includes the authentication for Josh Harrison. Now, when I sent this ball out, here, let me show you this part, I was worried because the autograph was very light. Very light. In fact, I think that's why my buddy Rick gave me such a good deal on this, him knowing that I like the Pirates and I like game balls and I like Josh Harris. And so, yes. Thankfully, the pen that was used was not super bold. <laughs> like, thick. That came out awesome with the correct jersey number, a little bit of painter's tape with the arrows pointing to the sweet spot, uh, the box that I sent this out in. Let me cover up my full name here. Not that it really matters, but... Uh, and Bill Mason, who handled this signing, did it the right way. Much appreciated. So, back-to-back -back singles off a of former Pirate pitcher. This is a completed project. Not that I really had intentions of getting it completed right away, but this is one I really wanted to have a completed project with. The other two I'm about to show you are game balls signed by... You know, another member of the Pirates, whom this is just a nice addition. So, but it's very appropriate, and you'll see. So let me try to cover up the Neil Walker for a moment. So there we go, Jordy Mercer. I've always liked Jordy Mercer. So this was against St. Louis Cardinals, July 10th, 2015. The 11th and 12th of that year were like the two best back-to-back -back games ever. Well, this is the this is the game before it against the Cardinals. Those of you who are big-time Pirate fans probably remember the walk-offs on July 11th and July 12th, 2015. Amazing. Anyway, this ball was hit by Jordy Mercer off of the Cardinals' Lance Lynn, their starter, and it was a ground out. Okay, so... Okay, that's fine. But um, there's a reason why it's a, a, a ground out. Th this ball was like a Jordy Mercer single, but... The ball hit Neil Walker. It's authenticated as Jordy Mercer ground out. Ball hit Neil Walker. There it is. <laughs> That's so sweet. So, um, yeah. Jordy Mercer singled, but it was a ground out because this very ball hit Neil Walker. That is so stinking cool. You don't see that happen too often. Not too many authenticated game balls, obviously, in that situation. And now I have both of them. And yes, of course, I'm going to rip this blue painter's tape off as soon as this video is done. But that's so stinking cool, especially when you start to think of the Pirates' timeline. The next two games were amazing. And this ball itself is so unique. And that's going to display so well. I mean, I was very specific. Not crazy, but, you know, specific. But, you know, I was... You know, I made the comment, blue ink pen below other signature, jersey 18, number 18. And, you know, the reason for the, for the jersey numbers is obviously he wasn't a pirate forever. And that's what this third and final autograph baseball, this game ball is going to be. It is signed already in person. I mean, the other ball, the Jordy Mercer, I got in person as well. But um, this ball was signed by Garrett Cole in person at Pirate Stadium. The New York Mets came to town, and um, Neil Walker, who had been a Pirate through 2015, was a Met for, I believe, 16 and 17, and, you know, Garrett Cole pitched this ball, so that's why I wanted him to sign it, but this is also MLB authenticated as... A Neil Walker line out to shortstop Jordy Mercer. And it was also uh, four additional pitches to Lucas Duda of the Mets. But yeah, this is MLB authenticated as. Here it is. MLB authenticated as a Garrett Walker pitch. And Neil Walker lined this ball out to Jordy Mercer. So, um, pretty stinking cool to have that 
as a completed item and a Garrett Cole autograph right now is definitely not a cheap autograph I'm sure so these were some amazing items here Let's see if I can get all those in one shot here I don't even know if it's possible it's not like I can do thumbnails or anything but uh yeah these were two private signings and actually in this month October who knows when this video will get shown but I actually just sent them out for more private signings so there they are. There are the three trading cards, the three MLB game use baseballs, and the program. So I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think, what you liked, and everything else about that. So um, I always appreciate you liking my videos, comment, and subscribing. I post a TTM video every Monday, and then uh, another Wednesday once on Wednesday, and once on the weekends. All right, take care, everybody.